everybody, my name is Asta and today I'm going to show you how to play this amazing cooperative game called Nightfire. Nightfire is a four-player cooperative strategy game where Kirakvira is notoriously lighting fires around the forest and the rangers are trying to put out the fire while trying to catch him. Whoever completes their tasks first, either Veera or the rangers, will win the game. Let's see how to set up this game. First, decide which of your friends is going to be Kiragvira and they will take the red pawn as well as the Kiragvira character pawn. The one who decides to be Ranger Kuti will get the green pawn and the respective character pawn. The other two players are also Rangers who can take any other pawns. Open the board in the center. Kiragvira gets 12 of these zone cards to place anywhere in the zones on the board. This player should think strategically and place these cards face up. Next, shuffle these action cards and distribute 4 to each player, including Kirakvira. Keep the remaining cards in a pile on the side. Keep the resource cards in 5 different piles beside the action cards like so. Fire tokens will be placed inside this bag and taken by Kirakvira. And this player will also get the thread and Kirak cards. The setup is done, but before moving forward, let us explain the main objective of this game. Kirakvira, the mischievous player, is trying to light fire around the forest. This player can win in two ways. First, if there are five live fire zones on the board, then the fire is out of control and so Kirakvira wins. Or, if fires have been lit in eight zones, even if they have been doused, means a lot of damage has already been done. So, again Kirakvira wins. Ranger Kuti, along with his fellow Rangers team, is all set out to put out these fires and catch Kirakvira to save the forest. The Rangers team can also win in two ways. First, when there are no fires and Kirakvira is caught, then the Rangers win. Or, if Kirakvira is stuck and has no place to move, then the Rangers win as well. If you're a little confused about, oh, what are these lit zones and how will Ranger Kuti catch Veera and all of those things, do not worry. As we move on further with the explanation, you will understand in detail what exactly all of this means. But basically, this is a game of Kirak Veera versus Ranger Kuti and his team. Now, we are ready to start the game. Kirak Veera starts the game. Veera picks two fire tokens from the bag. Each fire token will have a number on it. This player now has to go to the junction of one of the zones mentioned on the fire tokens, which are these bigger black circles, and light fire there by placing the fire token in the zone. Throughout the game, Kirakvira can only light fire from these junctions or the helicopter junctions marked with an edge. The most recently lit zone will also have the Vira character pawn placed there. The Rangers team will take their pawns and choose a starting point. It can be anywhere in the outer periphery of the forest, except for these helicopter junctions. Now, let's see what we can do in our turn. In Kirakvira's turn, the player has to move and if possible, try to light fire and hide from the rangers. In the rangers' turn, they have to move and they have to try to douse the fire, try to catch Kirakvira and for helping each other, they can also exchange cards. Let's look at the moving action in detail. Rangers will play an action card from their hand and move exactly the number of steps mentioned. They will also pick up the resources mentioned and place it face up in front of them. For example, with a fire 4x4 card, this ranger moves 6 steps and can take either 2 shovels or 2 chainsaws or one of each. Rangers can only have a maximum of three resources at any time. In the situation where they already have three resources and they play an action card which asks them to take any other resources, they will exchange the resources they have from the draw stacks. Resources are an important tool in dowsing fire which we will see further on. Rangers also have the option of using a quick access card which lets them fly across the forest from any one helicopter junction like this to another. The Vira shortcut section is not valid for Rangers. In case Rangers have three quick access cards and don't want to use them, they can discard those three cards in the discard pile and pick up three new cards from the draw pile. During movement, 
Rangers can jump over Kirakvira any time they want. After movement, Rangers will have to keep their used action card in the discard pile and pick up a new card. Movement for Kirakvira is a little different. Firstly, this player cannot pick up any resource cards. They are only for Rangers. Secondly, this player cannot jump over any Rangers with a few exceptions. And lastly, Vira can choose to use one or two action cards in the same turn. If one action card is used, the exact number of steps mentioned has to be moved. Two action cards can be used in the following combinations. Foot and foot card, foot and bulldozer card, foot and fire 4x4 card, foot and fire truck card, or Kirak card with any of the above mentioned cards. The doubled cards give the exact number of steps Kirakvira has to move. And if the Kirak card is used with any card, then the number of steps on that card doubles. If the Kirik card is used by itself, Veera can take a special shortcut or move to the nearest safe zone, these green circles, and even jump over rangers for this move. Veera can also jump over rangers if the rangers are standing at a junction. The special shortcut is even available when Veera uses the quick access card, but this cannot be clubbed with any other card. And Veera cannot use the helicopter. The shortcut is that Veera can move radially inward or outward based on these lines on the board. For ease, the string can be used to see the exact point where Veera will land. Just remember, Kirak Veera can never move through any area which has been lit on fire in the past, even if it is now doused. After the move, Kirak Veera discards the used action cards and picks up one or two action cards based on how many have been played. In case the draw pile ever gets over, the discard pile can be shuffled and made into a new draw pile again. Now let's see how Kirak Veera can light fire. At the start of Veera's turn, if this player doesn't have two fire tokens, then they have to take one fire token from the bag. So, at the start of a turn, there will always be two usable fire tokens. Like mentioned before, fire can only be lit in the zone number mentioned on the fire token and it has to be lit from a normal junction or a helicopter junction. Also remember, only one zone can be lit from one junction at a time. Now let's see how rangers can douse the fire, help each other and catch Veera. The fire can be doused from any place around the zone which is on fire, but the right number of resources and rangers are needed. Each zone card will show the resources and how many of them are needed as well as how many rangers are needed to put off that particular fire. For some of the zones where many resources and more than one ranger are needed, rangers will have to be close enough to each other to actually exchange resources and use them. Within a 5-step distance, resources and action cards can be exchanged. Each exchange can only be one card and only once before or after the ranger has moved. Once the fire is doused with all the necessary materials, the zone card will be flipped and fire token will be collected by the rangers. Wherever the fire has just been doused, Ranger Kuti's character pawn needs to be placed. During the course of the game while fire is burning, rangers can try to lock Kirakvira and stop his movement for one round. When a ranger lands on the same path as Kirakvira, Veera is locked for that round and cannot move till the ranger moves on their next turn. Once all the live fire has been doused, the rangers will move their attention on capturing Veera for good. Kirak Veera is captured if there is no space for Veera to move as jumping over rangers is not an option. If all the fire is doused and Kirak Veera is then locked, that is also considered as capturing. The only exception to locking is if Kirak Veera is in a secret hideout, then the rangers cannot find this player. Kirak Veera will continue trying to light fires everywhere and destroy the forest for his personal gains and using a lot of special moves. And at the same time, Ranger Kutti and his team will use their power and their resources and cooperate to try to put off all the fires to douse them and to catch Veera. And when does the game end and who is the winner? How is that decided? Based on each of their successes, just as we told you in the start. 
if there are five live fire zones on the board, then the fire is out of control. And so, Vira wins. If fires have been lit in eight zones, even if they've now been doused, means a lot of damage has already been done. So, Kirakvira wins again. But when there are no fires and Kirakvira is caught, that means the rangers win. Or if Kirakvira is stuck and has no place to move, then the rangers team wins again. And that is how you play Nightfire. Hope you liked our explanation of Nightfire. If you have any doubts at all about the rules, let us know in the comments down below and we'll explain it to you. And if you like this game and you want to purchase it, it's by Cardo Games. Their link to purchase is flashing on the screen right now and it is also in the description. So you can check it out and get this game from there. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please do subscribe and share it with all your friends who are sitting at home in the lockdown and just wanting to get out. So at least they'll have a watch.